Wars. I promised myself this wouldn't happen, but it only took a couple of days for this dog to become, like, the entire basis of my emotional stability. Like, I told myself that I was going to remain, like, super, like, calm and collected. Like, I was just, like, pushing back my hair. Like, I am so masculine and indifferent about this small animal. And then, like, walks over and licks my foot and my brain just goes, Oh my god, this is the greatest moment of my life! I don't know, man. It's trying to steal my socks, actually. I don't understand why, but it wants my socks and it's willing to steal them. Which is probably why I don't have that many socks anymore. But, I mean, it's only been a couple days. How could it have stolen all of them by now? I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to forgive it, though. I mean, it's socks. Who needs socks? Come on. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the Hypixel server has actually been having a pretty incredible amount of growth recently, and I'd just like to take a moment to appreciate the clear cause of all this server growth, which is to say, the Turbo Kart Racers update. Once Arena Brawl gets updated, boom, 80,000 players online at the same time. Easy peasy. That's, like, actually what people believe, though. Like, they're like, well, Bed well, Arena Brawl would be just as popular as Bed Wars, man. Easy peasy. Uh, why? How do people think this? I don't know, man. Welcome guys to Nuptsoda Skywars. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with French, just in high school in general. If you guys have been subscribed for long enough, you probably remember me talking about this last year and the year before where I just got my GPA completely destroyed. But today, we're going to be talking about the full story. So it all began when I was three years old. I only know this from eyewitness testimony because I don't remember any of this. But apparently, when I was three, I was playing at the park and I was assaulted by a Frenchman. I'm not, I'm not even making this up. Okay, so apparently, like, there I was at the park, playing, you know, I'm three years old, and there's some other, there's some other toddler there, we're both jerping around, but we had the same, we had the same toy, it looked the same, and so some, some conflict happened because of this, and so, you know, three-year-old, 1v1, inbound, now we're both three years old, so obviously we, like, we can, like, barely walk, much less, like, savagely maul each other, so I'm sure it was a very intense 1v1, but anyways, this French guy sees me messing with his kid and so he's like hmm clearly as an adult I should intervene and attack this small child so he walks over and pushes me over it's not like he was gonna kill me or anything but like you know I was three so the slightest amount of adult intervention and I just get gg10 easy comboed montage so yeah my parents being uh very hardcore called the police and they things happened I don't think things actually happened though I think the police just came and were like why and he was like, cause, cause he messed with it, and the police were like, why? <laughs> I don't, I don't think the police actually did anything. They were just, they just came over here and like judged him. Like, why are you pushing a baby? <laughs> why you do this? So yeah, that, that was my first, well, that was my first experience with French culture. You know, you have to start it off. So yeah, so fast forward, we're in eighth grade and we're choosing our world language. And I'm just like, well, clearly, since I live in California and my options are Spanish and French, Let's consider what country is literally shares sharing a border with California. France, of course. Yep. So I I'm home alone with Floof. Now Floof is a dog that just needs attention 24/7. That might be redundant. Maybe just all dogs are like that, but Floof Floof especially. And so usually there's some like, you know, other human at home, right? You don't get to just take all of the mid loot and go. That's not how life works. No! No! Oh no, you don't no 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 you don't get to just no no why are you like this? No, pick up the loot, pick up the loot, pick up the loot, run! Ah Did I get the loot? Is this was this all the mid loot? What what happened? What was I don't understand Skywars players, man. No, no, this isn't happening. This isn't happening either. Oh boy, you can bridge. That'll make up for your complete lack of armor. Out of here. Okay. What do you mean, whoa? You had no armor, and you just leapt into this confrontation like, If I believe hard enough, if I believe in the heart of the cards, I will win this fight. And then I just threw you over a bridge. That was exactly what was always going to happen. But what well, would have ended differently, and all the chests are gone. And I am sad. Alright, so anyhow, I'm sitting there alone with Floof. And I'm like, well, clearly if I have to get, like, you know, any any important things done today, like homework, I have to distract this dog. And the best way to distract him is to tire him out. Now, the thing about Floof is that he is a four-month-old puppy, so obviously I can tire him out. I mean, come on, how athletic could a four-month-old puppy be? 
So, like, you know, I go outside, we're running in circles, I'm running around the house, it's just, just like, you know, matching me step for step. As it turns out, this four-month-old puppy is more athletic than Technoblade. That's how you get good Skyward stats, by the way. You just get really, really good at running away. Like, if you ever have problems in life, don't confront them. Pfft, who does that? Run away from your problems. That That's a good a good lesson to impart on my audience. Yay, I'm gonna... See? See? This guy, he's a problem. I'm gonna run away. See how this works out. I'm a good influence on children. No, no, no. All according to the plan. Run away. Run away from your problems. Run away, children. Run, run, run. Bow your problems to death with a bow and arrow. Yes, murder is the only option. How did that work? <laughs> oh, cool. It transferred my stats from real life. We got my boy Jacob here. He mines cobblestone for me all day. I uh, I don't pay him, and he also has no rights. Oh, but Technoblade, doesn't that kind of sound like... Shh, I need cobblestone. <laughs> the end is a large island. My favorite hobby is racing across it. My best time is pretty fast. You'll probably never beat me. Uh, Goober, do you know who you're speaking to? Oh no, there's mountains. Oh no. Oh wait, I can fly. God, it's like this quest was made for me. And checkpoint and I fly all the way back and defeated 36 seconds not bad wait you're gonna make me run the race in two minutes i just did it in, in 36 seconds okay goober and it's like taking candy from a baby 33 seconds your record got destroyed kid a legendary speedster once ran this island he left behind this this pig's foot wait a minute the admin said if I win Minecraft Monday, they'll add a 1% speed talisman. It's like this quest was made for me. <laughs> my foot! No! Up in prison. Oh my God. That's the squeakle to the boss, baby. Yeah! Let's hear it, Techno. Alright, so. Uh, uh, yeah. what's showing on the screen? Alright, problem. My baby needs to learn to understand theoretical <laughs> physics. Screw all of you who gave me this prompt. <laughs> the solution? A gun. No, no, no. Oh it's also God. a gun. Oh Fear God. is the greatest motivator. Why were three out of four? That baby <laughs> better <laughs> learn today. That baby better learn. He better <laughs> learn right this instant or I don't know what I'm gonna do to that baby. I don't know what I'm gonna do to that baby if he doesn't comprehend <laughs> theoretical physics right this instant! <laughs> I swear to God! You better learn those equations! Oh that is all.